Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mokulover. And right now, we're exploring a new sub-mod called the Rise of the Three Dragons Old World Blues She Sub Mod, which quite a few words in that. But let's begin with a focus tree. And obviously, we're playing, or focus, we're playing as the She, the Era of Prosperity. With many years of peace, the Shi have lived in a long and great era of prosperity. With all the time in the world, the only question was how to spend the time, and we're led by Mr. Ken Lee. And I like that, he's a political workhorse. I love that PP. Cool. Captain 3 went update. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. But I'm pretty ex fairly experienced with the cap, so I've already played it. And rats. If you like, wow, that was really fast. If you'd like to read about rats, please go right ahead. This happens every campaign, but the era of prosperity. For many decades, the Shi town and surrounding communities loyal to the Emperor and the head advisor have pro prospered under the rule. Their policies and regulations have allowed them to prosper in peace while the other nations waged war and suffered from internal strife. Under these conditions, the people of the Shi were able to choose how they would develop their nation with this rare opportunity. Through reconstruction and rebuilding efforts, the Shi had become master builders, or through production and sale of equipment to their neighbors, they had grown rich. So. You get 15% more construction speed, which I think is great. That's all. That, that's that's pretty nice. Or you get more consumer goods, production efficiency cap, as well as growth. Ooh, no, I like both. I honestly like this one quite a bit, just because you can have more factories to build with, or you just build things faster. I think overall, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go with reconstruction rebuilding efforts. Let's have that fun. The wise leader. The Shi have prospered under the careful guidance of the great leader, ensuring the proper set of policies to ensure that the Shi would be able to have their own place in the sun, in between the bear and the brotherhood. Quite literally, between the bear and the brotherhood. Now, I played this a little bit already off screen, and I kind of know it's hap going, to going to happen, so things are going to get a little wild, but the wise leader. While in public, we are ruled by the mysterious and enigmatic Shi Emperor. In reality, we are ruled by Ken Lee, the head advisor, who enacts policies and regulations based on advice from the Emperor Computer. It was through him and the wisdom of the Emperor Computer that we had managed to ensure our place between the Bear and the Brotherhood. Ken Lee knew there was only one way to ensure the Shi's neutrality and peace. Through political web weaving and cutting political maneuvers to get more political power, I like that and wow, we just get 200 more political power, or through the display of military might. We get more daily army expedient as well as recruitable population factor. Oh, that's not bad. You get more daily army expedient, that's for the rest of the game, or you get more political power. Currently we get almost two a day. Holy bad words. Oh, that's because we have so much stability. So, we already have a lot of political power. Let's go with this one. That seems pretty nice. And blissful ignorance. With peace and prosperity in their lands. The Shi have learned the meaning of an old world quote as they watch the bear wage war towards the east. Ignorance is a bliss. Or just bliss. And with the national spirits, the era of prosperity. Oh, look at that monthly population. The Huang Ti Research Institute. More. Oh, look at that research speed. Look at that very high definition man right there. Ken Lee, I love him. Construction efforts that we just chose, as well as militaristic politicians. We love it. Love it. Love it. Ignorance is bliss, my friends. Peace, prosperity, progress. Through the decades, we have continued to advance and relearn the technologies of the old world. We have rebuilt the old world city, slowly returning to it, returning it to the metropolis that it was once before the Great War. But this peaceful lifestyle seems to have caused our society to grow decadent and lazy. Our strength may have grown, but the years have caused our spirits to have waned. It matters not. We have the old world strength now. We lose political power. We lose consumer goods as well as construction speed and get way more political power and factories. Look at that. Wow. And we shall do the stress of leadership. The role of being a leader of a nation and a people is one that is greatly admired and definitely has its perks, though it is not the most easiest or fun jobs that can lead to extremely stressful situations at times. The public address. Thanks to the great efforts of Dr. Liang, I am proud to announce that uh, Ken Lee stops in the middle of his speech as he suddenly collapses onto the ground as he suffers a stroke. The Shi Guard and his colleagues rush to his side, and he is quickly rushed to the Seal Palace's medical facilities. Dr. Shang is able to stabilize Ken Lee's condition, but it is clear that his condition will worsen over time. The stress of leadership has taken a toll on his health. You will not likely survive another attack, Ken. I'm sorry, but I did the best I could, Dr. Shang mutters. Ken Lee is silent as he stares at the cold, white wall of the medical room. I'll just leave you be, she mutters as she leaves him to his thoughts. As Ken Lee stares at the blank wall, he is not concerned about his health. He is concerned what happens or what will happen with the Shi without him. A dead leader cannot lead a nation from the grave. Oh no! Uh, let's see. So now we have 300 political power. And let's take a look at what we've got. We probably want to go with the local army. Also, I do want to let you know with this mod, there's like apparently three different ways we can go, go down eventually, which obviously sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, for now, we're currently building up a bunch of civilian factories, but maybe not. Let's go infrastructure. Let's try something different. 
Uh, we have no civilian goods now, unfortunately, so whatever. And additionally, we shall choose someone else here with all this PP that we do have. Infrastructure, why not? And outside auxiliary. So, quelling rumors. Rumors that a great leader has been incapacitated or worse, dead, right, fly rampant and uncontrolled. These false lies cannot be allowed to continue to be spread around carelessly. Wow, look at that. We have blissful ignorance. We've got uh, the weak followers of the apocalypse coming around. We've got rumors of a sickly president, which really hurts our stability and political power. We have political turmoil, which looks god-awful. And then we have public disorder, which is also god-awful. Wow, we are in quite a mess. And I do want to let you know, according to the Steam page, which hopefully I'll leave a link to this sub-mod in the description below. Uh, I think the, well, first of all, the person who made the mod wants a little bit more attention. You know, I'm trying to, you know, make sure, you know, people can visit this mod as well as... He wanted this to be a little bit more narrative-driven, so he, he saw TNO and wants, you know, a little bit more of a story-based cam campaign. So, lock down the borders. Ah! Rumors that our leadership is in chaos cannot be allowed to leave our borders. Should the bearer of the Brotherhood learn of this, there will be dire consequences. Quite, quite a bit, so yes. So, uh, let's see. We do have San Francisco, which is pretty nice, and we basically get roughly 19 caps every quarter. And we are training our fleet here, so that's why we already have 12 naval XP. And we do have a single army XP, and we have three divisions here. One, ten combat width, eight combat width, special forces division with anti-tank, as well as recon. And we'll look at the other one very soon with suppress the press. The press cannot be allowed to spread wild lies and accusations any longer. We must send in the Shi Guard to control the spread of these lies before they do more damage, more political power, and stability. Yes, please. And we have two normal infantry divisions that are ten combat width. Not great. Not bad. Still not great, though. Lang Zhang, hello, fast shot, intelligent. Well, you're gonna lead the infantry. Good luck. I guess we got gliders then too. Nice. I'll uh, go and do that one. Thank you. Ohm's law. Thank you very much. Finally, the research is done. Let's grab some reference manuals, as well as some secret language. And actually, with this sub mod, do we still have? Oh, we don't have fighters. Also, I didn't let show you guys yet, but we are pretty advanced on pretty much every single thing here, except vehicles, which is, you know, whatever. We are advanced, and we have. Oh, we do have Xi'an schematics. Cool. So we can get there eventually. Up next, uh, what do we want? Let's grab some organized agriculture. Why not? Ooh, what do we have? Quarter uh, income report soon enough. Tighten palace security. There can be no more further news that leaves the steel palace without undergoing scrutiny. The lips of scientists, servants, and the guards of the palace must be sealed tight, lest we desire another disastrous information leak. Absolutely. Followed with enforced propaganda. With the printing press is now under our direct control, it is best that we start enforcing some propaganda in the media to help do some damage control on what the rumors have already done, in which we get more stability back and more political power, which, you know me, we love that pee-pee. Hmm. And the followers will be established very soon. Sounds good to me. Stop lowering my war support. All is well will be next. Our head advisor, Ken Lee, is not dead. Thankfully, he is alive and well, performing vital research. All is well within the lands of the Shi. There is no war in Ba Sing Se. Oh boy. In which we get, we remove some of the bad national spirit here, and which we get more political power, consumer goods factories, and stability. Sign us up, my friends. Oh, we can actually upgrade San Francisco. Never been. Well, never mind. We need more than 19. Oh. Well, we're actually losing political power. Wow. That is... I was about to say fancy, but wow. Uh, honestly, with the Shi, it sounds like conventional warfare is fun, asymmetric warfare is fun, automated warfare is fun. I think we want to be a little bit refined. We're pretty advanced, so maybe we'll go down that way. We could... Oh, actually... Eh, I'm thinking about getting radi radio and radar and stuff like that, but maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, and we do have that bonus to research. And eh, we're already headed down this way. It'll be fine. We already have... We can always get the Xi'an fighters anyway, so we're pretty... We'll be blowing holes in enemies fast enough. And we'll, we will be blowing holes eventually, so... Cool. After all is well... Actually, when's the next technology done? Oh, right now. Cool. Let's grab some multi-purpose equipment. And how about stuff over here? Yes, yes, yes. Warrior training. Very good, very good. And then follow it up with the Emergency Council now ensuring order. Chaos is in the streets with rumors that our leadership is now dead. It would appear that thieves and looters are roaming the streets. Riots and looting is the order of the day now. We must put an end to this, which we remove public disorder and get public looting. I love looting. Don't quote me on that. Deploying the military. We lose some stability, but we get some more construction speed back as well as less consumer goods. But we'll read that soon after we get this next tech done with seed selection. 
Yeah, actually, deploying the military. We must deploy the Shi Guard. Our troops must restore order in these streets. These hooligans cannot be allowed to run rampant any longer. With increased patrols. Additional guards from the palace must be deployed to patrol the streets until order, of course, is restored. We must put an end to this looting, which we get even less consumer goods factories, which is good, more stability, more construction speed, and look at that population. It's still going up. Effective total manpower modified to 100%. Yes, please. Followed with enforcing curfews. Sometimes you have to do that, but we'll read that once we get multi-purpose equipment done. Thank you very much. Disorder, thievery, and assault cannot be allowed to rule the night anymore. Anyone caught outside their homes after sunset will be arrested and dealt with. And if you loot, it looks like we got some good options here. But less consumer goods factories, plus 20% stability, and more construction speed. Please sign us up with death penalty for looters. We do not have sufficient men to patrol and keep every shop thought or throughout San Francisco safe. But so, we have no choice to deter any further looting. Anyone caught looting will be arrested and shot. Hey, it's what the, Ch the Chinese way to do things, I guess. So, hey. Oh, there goes the NCR. Lose some recruitable population factor. So be it. Less consumer goods factors, more stability, and more construction speed. Yes, please. And order, of course, has been restored. With increased patrols and additional guards deployed through San Francisco, we have managed to end most of the chaos and bloodshed. We only need to stabilize our control. And order can be fully restored to San Francisco. We get more consumer goods factories, some more stability, and of course, one of my favorite things, construction speed. Oh, boy. And we have another division here. Oh, yes, please. Actually, are you guys entering? I love Old World Blues because sometimes it's just so fast when just playing. It can be so speedy. I love it. But not always. Not always, actually. But oftentimes it is. Cool. All right. So many guns we do have. That's not bad. Anti-tanks. Spec Ops is not bad either. If that's the case, but infiltration forces, just let time go on for now. Uh, very good. Very good. Nice. Very good. Um, actually, at this point, I don't really care. Just throw everyone over there. It doesn't matter. It, trust me, it doesn't really matter. Order, after we have order restored, which is a long focus. I mean, 35 days, that's a long focus compared to everything else we've done so far. But, we must have an emergency assembly. <clears throat> With a fear and uncertainty to all Kenley's health, we must gather the major political factions together and assure them that everything is alright. Lest they start tearing each other apart in a brutal power struggle. In which we remove political turmoil. And the NCR wants us to join them. Now, I want to let you know... That we are on a historical, so some things are going to happen in the mod that, or you know, this campaign that I don't know is going to happen. Are there strength in numbers? We work alone. This could be very dangerous. I kind of want to help them, but uh, actually, before we're making a decision. What are the Rangers doing? No national focus is set. Still led by Snake Vagus. Oh, if we say no, they might come fight us. So we work alone. Okay. Emergency assembly, very nice. That's very, very nice. Wow, we lose daily political power get 0.85 a day. Good lord, that's a lot of bad words I need to say. Placate the Neo Kamis. Ooh, the Neo Kamis have great influence with the masses. We need to placate them lest they stir up some sort of riot. Perhaps Ken Lee can leverage his personal relationship with a Xi'an to persuade her to keep her friends in check. We get daily people support. Okay, not bad. Kind of going to become a power struggle here, aren't we? So we're currently led by the ruler, Ken Li. There's elites under Li Shen. Intellectuals by Xia Lu. And we have people led by Dong Yi. Dong Yi, Dong Mi. Yes, yes, please. All is well, which is very good. Order restored, which is very good. Emergency assembly. Oh! And follows the apocalypse. Whatever. And oppose the Kai clan. The Kai clan is a family of powerful merchants. While they may not have direct influence in our government, they have a powerful say in our economy. Pleasing them is vital, maintaining stability, which you get more daily elite support. Very nice. It is still only 2275, so what do we want here? Saws? No, all this stuff is ahead of time. Let's grab some crowd control gear, because we could probably use that eventually. The Kai clan. No, like, there's the common think tank, implicate the new commies. There's, like I said earlier, there's three different ways we could go down. So, maybe we'll play this several different times. I don't know, we'll see what happens in the future. Just depending on how the mod is progressing, because sometimes mods are abandoned. Sometimes mods get really refined, which is really great, but I will keep an eye on this mod in the future, because it has a lot of promise. And after this, we shall be calming the think tank. With fears over Kenley's health, most of the scientists appear to have gone into a panic frenzy, either out of fear that one of their own may be attempting to seize power, or the neo-communists may attempt to seize power as well. Who knows? I'm, I'm, I don't know. Who's going to seize power? Probably us in the end, and that's an okay thing. Special Forces expansion, expansion, yes please. Motorized flight, thank you very, very much. 
Oh, the Imperial Assembly. Oh, that's slightly better. Not great. I'd rather not have it, but it's what we've got. And boom. So we got all three done. Let's go back to the commies and see what they're doing with promises before. Xi'an may hold Ken Lee in great respect, but she isn't in some docile pest. She'll only keep her friends in check if we promise her reforms, though. Such a move may anger the other factions. Look at that manpower. That's pretty darn nice. Modified 101%. Hmm. Very good. Followed up with increased research funding. The last thing we need is more chaos, but Dr. Liang says that he may be able to keep the rest of the think tank calm, but he'll need additional research funding to keep them busy. We could divert funding to them, but I kind of doubt that would please the other factions. But hey, as long as we help everyone out, and they're all upset with every each other, then and as long as they're not upset with us, we're okay with the promise of reforms, my friends. Xi'an's neo-communists argue in the assembly. People of the lowest classes suffer due to our unequal policies. We must rectify this, Long Shen yells. Preposterous! Your ideas of reforms are insane! How will we balance the budget with these new costs, his brother, Dr. Long Yi, argues. The think tank and neocommunists appear to be butting heads in the assembly now. Choosing one side will likely occur a favor with one group, but will greatly displease the other. Which side should we choose in this argument? Side with Xi'an or neocommunists? Which, even more weekly stability, which I like. And weekly war support, I like that a lot. You lose political power for th three months, though. Side with Liang's and his cadre of scientists, we lose stability and war support for political power. I think I want to side with the neo-commies, just because I like that war support. And political power, well, we can get that back later anyways. Ooh. Nice, level four. Very good. And then after that, we'll do some more reforms with tax reductions. Swaying the Kai clan to help keep the wheels of the economy smooth can be uh, pretty easy. The promises of tax exemptions will certainly be honey to their ears, but it may be venom to the ears of others. And who cares? we got to appease everyone and make sure they're all pissed off at each other, not us. So. Alright, just a little bit ahead of town. Let's go and do this. I haven't said what mods I'm using yet. So we're obviously using that one special mod that I already said that makes that gives a she some content here. Oh, we're actually building some. Oh, we're actually building some ships here. Wow, look at that! I forgot I built that. But so we're using the Rides of the Three Dragons Old World Blues she sub mod. We're using Old World Blues Old World Blues Radio Player of the Peace Conferences as well as the State Chancellor Tool mod. Increased research funding. We need to elect an immediate successor to the head advisor. I recommend Dr. Liang given his. Dr. Wong is cut off by one of the neo-commies. We will not allow you elitist scientists to take power. Power must be given to those who account for the people. Then, who shall lead us? One of you insane lunatics? The assembly erupts into a series of shots and insults. It is clear that the assembly will be filled with chaos as long as the think tank and the neo-commies continue to argue. Dr. Liang says he may be able to distract his colleagues and keep them busy with their own pet projects, but he will require additional funding to do so. We could easily raise the needed funds by raising some taxes, but such would likely displease the Kai clan. What should we do? Raise taxes, we don't need more arguing scientists, more political power in, ex in exchange for consumer goods and construction speed. Or, we can't afford to anger the Kai, send an apology to Dr. Liang. We get more consumer goods, uh, construction speed, and lose political power instead. Well, we're already building roads, so let's build up things even faster, faster, faster. 10 jumps up to 11, and we'll be done in literally less than a week. Nice. Rejected the NCR. Oh, well, hopefully they don't hate us for that. But, the Imperial Assembly. Well, a 70-day focus. Oh, my goodness. With much of the emergency assembly now organized, we can formalize it into a proper branch of the government. At least this will keep the others busy as they bicker between each other while we restore stability and order. If people pay the same amount of taxes, why should you be exempt from paying the same? Xi'an angrily yells. We help oil and keep the economy going. I think we should be given some slack for hard work. Kei Zongwu says. Hard work, you only oil the economy so that you and your family can grow richer, Xi'an argues. Please, Miss Xi'an, you must see the bigger picture. Without us, the economy could grind to a halt and no one would want that, would they? The glint in Kai Wangzu's eyes. Do not sit well with the other members of the assembly. It is clear that we need to break this stalemate lest we desire a fistfight to break out in the very halls of the assembly. Whose side shall we stand on? Give them tax reductions. Ooh. Xi'an is right, they will pay their taxes? Uh, well, that's the war sport's pretty nice, but... The economy. The GDP. You know. It's like TNO. you got to focus on the GDP and not too much debt, even though I love focusing on the debt, because I hate debt in real life, but whatever. GDP. <laughs> cool. Oh, ooh, 30. Oh, uh, we've invested in our uh, San Francisco area quite a bit, so... Of course, building us up would help us out. Actually, I forget, and... Old World Blues, it was 97.7. By building up infrastructure, does that help progress? Rebuilding the wasteland. 
Oh, we've got a motorized flight. Nice. And I don't think it does. No, it does not. That kind of sucks. That's kind of okay. You know, it's all right. Wow, this this feels very weird. Going from literally 7 to 14 to 21, 35-day focuses and going to a 70-day focus. Oh, it hurts us. But let's take a look at the national spirits that we have now. We have Order Restored. We have All is Well with that, uh, the Chinese posted. The Blissful Ignorance kind of sucks. The Emergency Assembly hurts quite a bit. As well as Neo-Communist Upper... Neo communist ramblings, clan, Kai clan influences, and scientific joggins. Oh, we have a P's and Neocomies for now, and which will be gone soon enough. But happy 2276, everyone. We have a displeased think tank, so be it. We have a P's of Kai clan, and displeased and Neocommunists. So everyone is not happy with us. And uh, as long as, like I said, as long as they hate each other, that's all I care about. And. Oh, wait, maybe it does increase it. Huh. More than 19 political parts. We get up to 20, we'll be good. There we go. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. Can we still? We don't have political power. We only get 0.29 every single day, which really sucks. Displeased thing thing is gone. Good. Up oh, and well, we're stuck with that. Special forces expansion. Very nice. Get more research speed, shall we? Resistors. I love resistors. All right, and consulting the Emperor. While the Emperor computer may just be a figurehead for our society, it is still makes vital ca calculations that help our society keep moving and that we perform actions that have favorable odds towards us. It would be best to consult in on who should lead us next. Consulting the Emperor, yes, please. Without the Emperor computer, we may be a lost people. Consulting the Emperor. The Emperor computer may just be a figurehead, but it is still able to make amazingly accurate and reliable predictions. It would be best to consult the Emperor computer on who will be able to lead the Shi with the best probability to lead the Shi forward. Ken Lee lets out a sigh of relief as he keys in the data to the computer and allows it to begin its calculations. I can probably get myself a cup of tea while it's still calculating, Ken Lee thinks to himself. It'll be a while before accurate calculations can be done after all. Ken Lee leaves the room momentarily to fetch a cup of tea, but as he returns, the sound of the cup shattering the glor on the floor can be heard. Dr. Shang and the Shi Guard rush in, fearing that Ken Lee has suffered another attack. But Ken Lee is still well, but his face is pale as he has a death grip on the Emperor Computer's terminal. Probability of successful Shi leadership under Xi'an, 50%. Probability of successful Shi leadership under Dr. Liang, 50%. The fate of the nation rests on a coin flip, which we lose 50% political power, 50% stability, and 50%, of course, research speed. Man, this is good. I kinda, I'm kind of liking this. And which we have a part of the focus tree more on that. I love it. Making a decision. Without the Emperor computer to consult, Ken Lee must make the difficult decision himself on who will continue to lead the Shi forward. And the fate of the nation rests on this decision alone. This is probably one of the most intense uh, campaigns I've done in terms of narrative in Old World Blues. <laughs> so thank you to the developer if he's watching. So I love it. It's a, lo it's a lot of fun. I love that you just you just lose like 50% stability and stuff. It's just it's kind of wild. And accident I accidentally let that go on for too long, but whatever. Making a decision. After much deliberation, Ken Lee summons Xi'an and Dr. Liang to the throne room. Xi'an and Dr. Liang are taken back when they see Ken Lee. He is tired and weary after the recent events, not appearing to have gotten any sleep for the past few days. Lian, or Xi'an Liang, please take a seat. He motioned towards the newly brought in seat. His hands tremble as he pulls himself a glass of whiskey. I hope that when I make my decision on who will lead our people towards the future, the other can respect my decision, Ken Lee mutters. Both people appear to be uneasy as they nod their heads. It wasn't easy, but I finally made my decision. Xi'an will lead the Xi forward. Dr. Liang will lead the Xi forward. Uh, what does this one do? The Emperor Long Divided Must Unite. As in famous literary works, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, the Emperor Long Divided Must Unite. Cool. I'm going to go with Xi'an leads the Xi forward for now. Making a decision. Ken Lee opens his mouth to speak, but the only sound that escapes his mouth is a grunt of pain before he collapses under the floor, his glass of whiskey shattering on the floor as he did so. Dr. Shang and her assistant rush to Ken Lee's side as, Do as Xi'an and Dr. Leon call the guards in, but it's too late. Dr. Shang's face is as pale as a ghost as he, as she, looks up to both Xi'an and Dr. Leon. He's dead, she mutters. Who will lead us now? And that's odd completed, which... Gets us over here. Long united must divide, thus it shall forever be emergency rule. Without a proper head advisor, power of leadership will be temporarily transferred to the next highest branch of leadership, the newly newly formed Imperial Majesty. You know what? We keep losing stability, political power, and all sorts of stuff. <sighs> Can't wait. Can't wait. Ah, <sighs> good. And this is why I just want to build roads. Just build, build, build. Don't worry what's going on in the government. Nothing to see here. Oh. 
Now, the new Kamis are no longer displeased. The dying breaths of the Shi, without a proper leader, the Shi leadership is already falling apart. Chaos has already erupted in the Imperial Assembly as they become further divided with factionalism. The emergency government already teeters on the brink of collapse before it even can exist. Worryingly, reports are coming in about Dr. Liang ordering the Shi Guard to erect emergency barricades around Steel Palace. News journalists have taken photos of Xi'an and her neo communists rallying the people in the streets of San Jose in concord with fanatic fervor, further provoking unrest in the streets. Even the Kai clan are becoming to cause. To cause concern as a Kai clan matriarch, Kai Zi Tian, orders the most of the clan to relocate to the north with NC, within NCR territory. There's a sizable force of new Reno Mercs are gathering there to protect the family, the sick man's final moments. Bolters picking at a dead corpse. Without Ken Lee, the fragile peace in the assembly has been broken, and the factions become nothing more than Bolters picking at the dead corpse of the Shi leadership for their own selfish gain. Oh no, what could happen now? We have 12 divisions, look at that. And here we go. The three dragons. The vultures of the Shi feed on what is left of the carrion of the Shi leadership, gathering their strength for what is soon to come. In the outer regions, Xi'an and her neo communists have proclaimed the People's Republic of the Shi, the true government of the, of the people of the Shi. The Shi guard and the people there have defected and flocked to her new cause as she rallies them in a near fanatic fervor. In the north, the Kai clan, now fortified at Point Green, have proclaimed the formation of a new Chinese empire, the Kai dynasty. They already have hired enough new Reno mercenaries to form a small army, and are now threatening to storm the Steel Palace to restore the power of the dragon throne, and abort its will across the wasteland. Within San Francisco, Dr. Liang and the remains of what is left of the Shi Guard, still loyal to the Steel Palace, have fortified their positions around the tent city, as the tense rule of martial law falls over the town. Each of the dragons rise from their slumber and prepare to do battle, but there can only be one dragon. Which dragon shall it be? So basically everything else we've done up to this point means not too much, but the Elder Dragon, the Red Dragon, or the Golden Dragon. So for us, I think, uh, actually look at the Desert Rangers, they're killing other people. I think we're going to go with the Golden Dragon, the Kai's faction, and now we've lost the game. But we haven't really, because now we're up here. We took in, we've taken literally over NCR territory, San Rafael and Point Green. I love it. And now we have to, very small tree, but preparing for the Civil War. With Xi'an and her neo-communists now arming themselves in Concord while Dr. Liang further reinforces and barricades the Steel Palace, it is clear tensions are at a boiling point. It would be best if we were to prepare on how to best to take advantage of the current situation. Oh, get manpower. Now, as you can see, we don't even have these pieces cord, but... Hey, it is what it is. And we have a total of seven divisions. New Reno thugs. Well, they are mercenaries. And New Reno mercs. Well, they are mercenaries. Cool. Do we have anyone to lead our glorious army? Yes. Kai Gao Long. Kai Zi Ling. Or Mama Kai Zi Lin. Well, is this Kai here. This Kai guy. Kai Gao Long guy. He's got a little more attack than the other person. And Kai Zi Lin... Well, not too bad. And we only have, unfortunately, three research slots. Are we still advanced? We're fairly advanced, even though it looks like for industry and stuff, some things are just lacking now, which kind of sucks. And apparently we've got to start over with our research, which I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, but we'll, we'll do it. Oh, homemade assault rifles. Oh, I like that. Wait, is this out of date? It's probably out of date. There we go. There we go. All right, we basically literally just started. And we're losing money. So the goal is to not die. Paladins are no longer... Oh, what do we have for this? Oh, our flag change. Kai Zi's Tian. We have the War of the Three Dragons. Well, plus 100% war support. As well as political power struggle. Nice. We get 1.49 every day. Oh, we have drop yards. Um, well, we, I don't think we have a navy now, do we? Nope. So, it seems like probably in the future... When we need to invade people, we're going to need some serious amount of ships. So, 690, longboat hulls. This is a lower number than that one, so that goes bye-bye. Canoes, that is a bigger number, so goodbye. And longboats. There you go. That's how we decide things. Bigger number means bigger happiness sometimes. And defending over here means nothing, because that's the Brotherhood, so. And, preparing for the Civil War, my friends. Oh, come on, can I... Let me get over there, man. Liquidating assets, buy, buying new factories, uh, that'd probably be pretty good to do. Families accounts, money, manpower, well, let's buy some new factories. Our armies of New Reno thugs and mercs are constantly demanding supplies and weapons as they fight against Xi and Red Guard for control of San Francisco. If we're to keep up with that demand, we'll need more factories to keep up with that demand. Cool, we're killing each other now. The incident. In a sea of gasoline, all it takes is a single spark to let the world ablaze. Last night, under the shroud of darkness, a group of neo-communists were in as he did argument with a small group of research assistants in one of the dark streets. 
In the peak of the argument, <clears throat> a loud burst of gunshots echoed throughout the empty night. She guard and red guard rushed to the scene, but they were too late. Piles of goo and gunshot riddled research assistants littered the small street. There was exchange of words after that as both the red guard and the she guard turned on each other immediately, breaking into fistfights as more gunshots started to ring through the air. If they had taken the time to look around the scene, it would be worth asking the question, how did the two fire at each other when there were no weapons found around the bodies? But the time more for words was over. The pen is mightier than the sword, but he holds... But he who holds a sword decides who holds a pen. The war of the three dragons has begun. Oh, I love it. Now we have to wait until San Francisco's capitulated. I'm not even going to train any soldiers, really, because that... Wow. What do we have here? Who do we take over? Holy crud. NCR troopers. It's not bad. NCR rangers. I kind of like this one. Can't afford them, though. Um, well, we don't need well, that for where we're headed, probably. Unless we get navally invaded, then, then we're screwed, but... Whatever. Uh, do you have anything here? Uh, sniper, land night attack. Yeah, let's go with land night attack, probably. Oh, he's level 3. Oh, nice. And... What is going on? Oh! Well, look at the hand warband. Oh, we get followers of Apocalypse. out. let them come. Hey, we're major power now. Look at that. Well, this is very weird. Let's go and put you guys over here, then. Buying new factories. Buying new resources. As our industrial capacity to manufacturing continues to grow, our factories grow hungrier for more materials to consume and turn into weapons. We'll need more resources if we want to keep up with our hunger. Now, this isn't... Oh, oh, do we actually court? Oh, we're the Baron's Republic, technically. Oh, we did court. Okay, that's good. Technically... Uh, oh, there we go. Now they're, now they're beating us up, or at least attempting to. I'm going to send one of the guy over there. Now, these guys are killing each other over here as well, so we have to be really pr pretty much prepared for the fall of San Francisco eventually, so... And we're going to win the battle. San Francisco is getting attacked. And as soon as they lose it, we'll just march on over. NCR declare one the divide. That's pretty late. Cool. Oh, I love this type of labor. But let's liquidate some assets first. We will need some caps and men to pay for our army to win the Civil War at the current rate. Our accounts would be drained within a month. We need to liquidate some of our assets to fill our coffers needed for this little war. So we need some more guns. We could use some trouble scout kits eventually, but let's get some more guns there first. And then some of that, and then some of this. You know, the good stuff. The tasty stuff. The bueno stuff. I don't think they say bueno too much in Chinese language, but hey, you never know. So, war bonds. Okay, that's not too bad. Alright then. I don't. I never sell war bonds, but Siege of Hidden Valley, alright, not bad. Did you actually win here? Led by Dr. Zhuan Zane, huh? Doesn't look like it. Just hold. Just kind of hang out and hold. All of you, all about you, just kind of hang out over there. Looks like they're taking forever to take out San Francisco, which is going to be a big old problem. That's alright. Bait them into attacking us. Maybe. There you go. Eh, we could form a front line, but I don't feel like it. Let one division go in there, too. Let him get some more experience. At least this place is cored. We start off with all these places being cored, which really, really sucks. Oof. Oh, they keep it. Actually, is there only one division attacking? It is only one division attacking. Oh, third guy can learn La Ohm's Law is nice to have, though. And reference manuals, as well as good language. And this is why I built up quite a bit of uh, infrastructure all around here. Oh, there's so much. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's all we had to do. That's a really cool flag. People's Republic of the Xi. There you go. Oh, we don't have enough score yet. Oh, we need about 140. That's not too bad. There you go. Now we don't own it. But as long as we move over, that's all that matters. Oh, crap, they caught us. Go before they... Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Okay, then. Oh, I didn't think it was going to be this difficult. But okay, let them come in. Actually, no, don't let them come in. Let them drain themselves on us for now. Usually, actually, off screen, I practiced this just a little bit. And we were able to actually beat them up this way, so... I was actually able to get on the, the land much faster than this, but whatever. Uh, buying loyalties. Oh, we get a core on that. Nice. The locals of the NCR territories don't appear to be friendly to our regime. Perhaps some generous amounts of caps through the right people can convince them otherwise. A song from the front. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. We already have enough war support. Let's, uh, I'd rather le listen to Ink Spots. How about that? Oh, we actually research advisor. Look at that. Nice. Uh, what do we want? Oh, look at this. Organization and defense. Hmm. Former Sheet Guard. More defense and attack. More attack and organization. 
Well, currently we can just keep throwing more soldiers, but I'd rather have more attack, honestly, right now, because uh, this is both good and bad, but organization helps you out no matter what. I'm going to go with White Tigress. Oh, yes. Go and help them out. There you go. That should be able to stop them all from winning over there. If we want, we can throw everyone over there, too. There you go. Good luck with that, boys. Casualties, 33 versus 36, which, of course, could be better, but buying loyalties is a pretty nice thing to do. How about calling in favors? Oh, yes. Our dealings with the families of New Reno have ensured that they are quite indebted to us over time. Perhaps this time we collect some of those favors and request for some aid in the Civil War. Yes, that'd be quite good. Especially as we are learning how to become an urban assault specialist more and more and more. Even though they are doing quite a bit of damage to us, which really sucks. But maybe we should do some land auction, shall we? Uh, refined warfare. At this point, we can still get radar. Nah, we'll just do it refined. We'll do that one. There you go. Just hold for now, guys. Just hold for now. Some of you guys are really injured, which is, you know, makes sense. Fire teams. Oh, we need some fire teams. Calling in favors. How about the family's accounts? The war will decide the fate of the entire Kai clan. Everything is at stake in this war now by order of the Kai clan matriarch. All funds are hereby now to be used for the Kai clan's war efforts, which is a good, good thing. Urban soul specialists. We're learning, learning, learning. I can't imagine. Oh, actually, I, oh, hello, Xi'an. Bunch of commies. There are a lot much manpower left. Are we mobilizing? We are mobilizing. Look at that. Nice. Secret language is a very good half. Get some smoke signals. We gotta really improve our ability to decode enemy encrypted messages. Military signing bonus. We got a lot of money now. Nice. Family counts. More manpower. Actually, would be pretty darn nice to have. Uh, civilian factories would be pretty good as well. Uh, weekly manpower. Civilian factory. How about both? There we go. Emergency accounts from the family. Every cap of the Kai clan's disposal will now be put to use for the war effort. We're currently in an all-in gamble. Nothing is off the table. We'll lose some stability, but that's okay. Man, they are just attacking, attacking, attacking. And our guys are learning quite a bit. They've lost about, well, roughly triple our numbers, so. If they come over, we pretty much lose, so we can't afford to lose, guys. <laughs> nice. The Golden Dragon. Oh, look at that! For 360 days, we get more division, organization, recovery rate, attack, and defense. The time for the Elder Dragon is over. The Red Dragon perished in the nuclear fires of the Great War. Only the Golden Dragon of the Empire will stand tall above all. All will bow to us, the true rulers of this realm. The descendants of the Middle Kingdom. Yes. Ah, uh, built some stuff up here. There we go. Eh, not bad. And hopefully we don't lose here. Well, we should be inflicting way more casualties. Yeah, about triple to the enemy. Now, they might be getting more manpower. Yeah, it looks like they're mobilizing a little bit more, but... Honestly, their attack and defense is quite strong. We should not lose here, since we're defending to... How, how's the uh, leader doing here? Uh, what do we have here? Anything give us more defense? Cunning leader, I like that. Infantry attack and defense would be very good immediately. Junk rounds, 6%? Oh, yes, please. Mm, uh, oh, that's not bad either, but we can't get that one with her. Recovery rate might not be bad. Awareness, recon, division, attack. Sniper. Well, let's go with infantry stuff, so. Now that should put us in a good position. And with you retreating, we can come back and get some more organization first. At this point, just go and do this too. It's fine. Get some planning done. Our stockpile. We're looking pretty good on infantry equipment, not gonna lie. We're looking pretty darn decent. We know thugs, get some mercs, and actually upgrade. Oh, we, we have fire teams on these? Why do we have fire teams on these guys? Thugs. Uh, thugs for less. If you know where that name is from, please let me know in the comments because I love that franchise. That franchise is so much fun. Uh, thugs for less. Seriously, guys, you're just killing off your own man bear. Keep it up, though. We enjoy it. Nice. Resistors are good. Uh, vacuum tubes a little bit ahead of time. Just a little bit. Get some more output. Why not? The Red Commandos, of course. Red Guard Attackers. Oh, yep. Golden Dragon. Now we're definitely going to win and slave labor. As demand for our workshops and factories continue to grow for them to turn out more weapons, we'll need more hands to keep up keep production running. Hiring more workers will be an expensive endeavor. Perhaps we can find a free source of labor instead. I love free sources of labor. Don't ask where they were or came from, though. All right. So after that, with 100 thingamabobs, we might consider getting some more defense. Yeah. We'll grab this one, because we can't. Oh, or we can do that one. We'll up to army. Okay, we'll up to army. Okay. 
I mean, we're still defending pretty darn well. And just because people retreat doesn't mean we can't cycle more soldiers in here, you know? Oh, upgrade? Yes. Level 4. Urban Assault Specialist. More defense on our current territory? Yes, please. Sniper. Division Attack Reconnaissance. Ah, get slightly 1% more defense. That's not bad. And the divisions will be back in very, very soon. And we've lost 167 versus 700. Not bad. Slave labor and enslaving our enemies. Perhaps we can put good use of our enemies instead of fighting against our rightful, rightful divine right or rule. They can always slave away and work in our factories, fueling our war economy, freeing more men for frontline duty. Of course, which is a good thing. Uh, you're looking pretty weak. Go there and then just kind of double back. Have a good time, shall we? Any more upgrades? I love upgrades. Upgrades are so much fun to have. No, but we got a, we already have a lot of upgrades. That's pretty nice, honestly. Uh, nice. Enslaving our enemies? Good. And that's pretty much it for the focus tree for now, though. So, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to leave this here. I'm going to finish off the Civil War a little bit and just kind of wait until they kind of tire themselves out. But we will resume when we go right before we take a Concord or capitulate with them. So, if you enjoyed the first episode of us playing with the Rise of the Three Dragons, Old World Blues, She Sub Mod, please let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Check out that, check out the mod yourself. It's a lot of fun. And I'll see you tomorrow, as we will continue down with our focus tree. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.